Hi, today I have two simple questions. This is going to be questions about uh, population genetics, but uh, though this is a very simple questions, these questions are very important uh, for your ability to solve many genetics problems. So please pay attention today. And here is the um, first problem. The selective coefficient for the homozygous dominant genotype is 0.1. The selective coefficient for the homozygous recessive genotype is zero. There is complete dominance of the capital A allele over the small a allele. What are the fitness of the three genotypes? And uh, if you feel that you can solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here. Try to solve this problem on your own, uh, the first and the second. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, we use uh, w, uh, WV to designate fitness, so this is going to be W uh, for the homozygous uh, recessive genotype because uh, it shows best uh, results and uh, fitness here uh, or a selective uh, coefficient is zero. What does it mean? That 100% uh, of this genotype would survive until reproductive age so, uh, uh, once again, selective coefficient, uh, that is zero, that means that 100% of this uh, genotype would survive until reproductive age. And on the other hand, uh, uh, selective coefficient, that is one, and we have only, we can choose only between zero and one, and one is a maximum, uh, when selective coefficient would be one, that means that 100% of the genotype would die before it can reproduce. So, uh, as uh, I told, the best uh, results of the survival here would be uh, homozygous uh, recessive. So, this is going to show the best fitness. So, that means uh, that fitness, when uh, selective coefficient is zero, the fitness is equal to 1. And uh, we also have two more genotypes, uh, that is WV, that is uh, homozygous dominant, and we have to just uh, deduct from 1 uh, selective coefficient, that is 0 0.1, and the answer here would be 0 0.9. And uh, the other genotype would be heterozygous. And the results would be the same because we have complete dominance of uh, dominant uh, uh, allele uh, A, capital A, over the recessive allele small a. So here we would have same results. 1 minus 0 0.1 would equal to 0 0.9. And what uh, does this uh, numbers uh, mean? Uh, once again, here we would have 100% of the fitness or survival rate. And here 0 0.9 means uh, 90%. So 90% would survive until the reproductive age. And heterozygous also would show 90% survival rate until uh, reproductive age. So we can uh, use these numbers as uh, as answers here and we can move to the next question. Uh, if 40 out of uh, 100 individuals with uh, homozygous dominant and heterozygous genotypes survive to reproductive age and 80 out of 100 individuals with uh, the um, res homozygous recessive genotype survive to reproductive age. What are the fitness of the three genotypes? And uh, I just want to warn you that this is not going to be uh, like 80% uh, and 40%. If you think that this is this easy, this is easy, but not uh, this easy. 
So how we are going to solve this problem? First of all, we have to find the genotype that show best uh, survival results. And this is going to be homozygous recessive because 80 out of 100 would uh, survive. And uh, here for the other genotypes we have 40 uh, that is homozygous dominant and heterozygous that would survive out of 100. So this genotype that is homozygous uh, recessive would show best results. So once again uh, WV that we use for the fitness of the homozygous recessive. Uh, we have to use it as a base for our calculations and we have a uh, uh, survival rate 80 so we have just to divide 80 by 80 and we would get uh, uh, fitness that is going to be equal to 1 and now we also can find uh, all the other genotypes so this is going to be homozygous dominant we have to divide 40 by 80 and uh, here uh, fitness would be 0 0.5 and fitness of the heterozygous genotype also would be 40 divided by 80 and fitness here would be 0 0.5 so as you see, this is not uh, 0 0.8 for the homozygous recessive uh, genotype and not 0 0.4 for the homozygous uh, dominant and heterozygous. As you see, numbers here are different, 1 and 0 0.5, 0 0.5 that we use for as our results here. And uh, this is uh, how we calculate and I hope this information were interesting to you and helpful. Uh, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.